so this is last part of this series if you haven't watched the previous part you can go to the playlist or you can click on i button so in previously we have done with the header and the shipping information part also we have uh, made this product list uh, part in this video we will see how we can make the terms and condition and also we will uh, implement the watermark like means we will put the watermark image in this pdf so after that let's write the terms and condition part so again i uh, here you can see table so this this table entire table is a full width table i need to create that one so there that full width table i'm creating cell i will provide i will add some cell in this i have added some cell like terms and condition new line after that it will going to provide the new line So let's see till now what we have done so far okay still we have some border here so that i will look after after completing this one so terms and condition is there so after that i am making a list of string so this is a string list that i am creating and i am there i am adding all the terms and condition so one two that i am adding and the same thing i am going to so whenever the when i will do will so will with the help of for loop so let's generate this file and then see how it's looking So yeah, so everything is as perfect uh, than what we want to do. So here, uh, only difference is like means here we are getting a border. So that border we can remove with the help of like means cell as we did before also. So what I will do, I will add a new cell. I insert that I will add this thing and I will remove the border of the cell and then yeah now it's perfect like means what we expecting so here if you can compare we have this coding error watermark also so so for that watermark what we need to do we need to add some image so first thing that i will do is like means adding the image i will copy and paste it here only So if you can see this is the logo that that i want to put it here so how we can put uh, provide a watermark to any pdf so first thing for that one is to have add the image and then we need to provide the position of in, in where we want to place it 
so for that purpose first thing that i will do i will add the image first and then i will do the operation so this thing uh, we need to do before before this before we write anything into the column so the first thing that need to be done is the adding the image and then on top of that we will write anything so first thing i will take the path of this one path of the image file string image path so the path you can get it from the right click and you can just see this copy path reference and then you can see the absolute path so after i got the path i can create this image data image data image factory data factory dot create and then here we need to provide the image path uh, this will also going to throw some exception so that i will add it here so here you can see malformed url exception that exception will occur now i will create this image so here you can see jwt uh, java awt and itic so you need to select this one so now we have the image of that now we need the position though. so as of now like means i have uh, done in the center of this one so for that what you can do is like means you can get the center of the entire document by using this thing load x is equal to pdf document dot get default size get width same as i will get the height also i will get height of this get height so like uh, height means entire this one and width means entire this one so if you want to place into the middle so i can divide by two so that i can get the exact value of that one so after that uh, if i want to place the image so for that purpose we, we can do this by doing this one so we have this image and set fixed position like means i will set this image to this position x comma y so x comma y whenever i am doing that x comma y so uh, let's see and just i will set the opacity as 0.1 so if you can see it will be kind of transparent thing but it will not be aligned at the center because this is the place it will start the width size uh, size in so let's rerun this and see uh, where it's going that image is producing where Okay, so here you can see I have done everything but I haven't added into the document so first it need to be added in the document then only we can see any anything inside the PDF file I'm rerunning this application again
so here you can see the image is producing in this place so so to re uh, to place it to the, this side uh, i'll i need to place this to the, this one so for that uh, i need to subtract 150 from this one and 170 so for your uh, the this uh, data will differ like means according to the position you want to fit for me i have like means done the hit and trial like uh, placing and just subtracting it and just seeing whether it's coming in that particular place or not so you can do the same thing if i rerun and just you can see that is coming at the same place what we are expecting it here So that's it from this particular video. Thank you for watching.